Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So today I'd like to go over something that's been bothering me about Google and their advertising platform for just about four years now that seems to be getting worse and worse with each passing day. You see, I don't usually use the YouTube app to view YouTube because it is filled with garbage ads and is just, in my opinion, a poor user experience. Even if you pay for YouTube Premium and you download a video, if you don't go online for a period of a few days and you take the SIM card out of that phone, you won't be able to view that video that you downloaded. There's a number of things that I just don't like about it. So I tend to use this app called New Pipe from the F-Droid store, which provides a much better user experience. However, since at my new job in employer Futo, we are developing our own application that is similar, but I can't really get into too many details right now until it's done. I am going back and forth between that app and the stock YouTube app every now and then just to see how the user experience compares and contrasts for a number of different things. And when I do, I get to see all of these nonsensical ads again, like this. This says, most beautiful Slavic ladies are looking for US men. Find your dream partner now. Slavic ladies are the best option for US men over 40. Every now and then, it'll be an ad that's a little innocent. Sometimes it'll be an ad with a woman that looks like she's half my age duck facing. And sometimes it'll just be somebody that starts playing, explaining to me how these women from war-torn countries tend to be better options than American women. Now, I'm not here to criticize you if you are a 40-year-old man dating a 20-year-old female. Me personally, the youngest woman that I've ever dated was two years younger than me, but you do you. I'm not here to criticize you for that. What I'm here to criticize is Google and their hypocritical behavior. Now, if you look at the way that they deal with advertising, they have restricted third-party repair on YouTube from being able to do any sort of advertising. If you run a third-party repair center like mine, and I discussed this in a video that I did three years ago and why I find it the BBS. Their excuse is they claim at Google, their testing shows that the potential for ads that lead to abusive or misleading experience is too high. This coming from a company that allows you to advertise dick enhancement pills. Dick enlargement pills are allowed. Kind of borderline human trafficking allowed on YouTube. PP Bush G3 hot going from 8.1 volts to 8.5 volts. That's a bridge too far. We can't do that here at Google. And I want to explain why I believe this is and why it is bullshit. Because you see, Google partners with authorized repair centers that are not third-party repair centers like you break I fix and they've been partnered with them for quite a long time and I'll include links to certain articles below on this and this happened right around the time that they decided to restrict advertisements for third-party repair centers now it doesn't matter that cer certain third-party repair centers like ours are 4.9 stars with 1500 views on their own platform it doesn't matter that when you go on YouTube you will see if you search for MacBook logic board repair that we are literally the top rated result we are not a allowed to advertise on Google AdWords, but human traffickers can, because apparently the potential for a negative offline user experience is lower when you are importing a wife from a war-torn country than it is when you come to get a motherboard fixed at Rossman Repair Group. This is bullshit. And the reason they're doing it is very obvious. You see, Google has competition for their authorized repair services that they may wish to quash, but they don't have competition when it comes to dick enhancement pills, dick enlargement pills, human trafficking, or matchmaking services. That's why they're allowed to advertise, and we aren't, and it's bullshit. At the end of the day, if they were just able to be honest about it and come out and say, we're not going to allow independents to advertise because we have authorized repair interests, that's fine. But to come out and say that there is too much of a potential for a misleading offline experience when you're getting something repaired at an independent repair shop, but to allow me to import a fucking wife. No, that's bullshit. It has always been bullshit, and I'm going to continue to call it out every chance that I get and also suggest that people use applications like New Pipe or the application that we'll be coming out with over the next year or two here that, in my opinion, provide a much, much better experience when it comes to using YouTube than the actual stock YouTube app. Somebody thought that it was stupid that I go over this. One of the um, higher comments was, biting a hand that feeds you. Just because you can point out a partner's weakness doesn't mean you should. You're an excellent caster, no need to get in your own way because of a temporary frustration. This has been going on for four years. YouTube is the platform right now. Staging an open revolt for a newbie on the platform you're dissing is imprudent. Consider your position with calm. My comment, YouTube does not feed me. I have a job. I have a business. I have a life. YouTube is not who I am. It is a hobby that I've turned into a secondary form of income that I, as a man wearing the same $5 t-shirt every day, maybe not the same. Admittedly, I alternate between beige and light blue, but I really like the light blue better. I just can't find more of these at H&M. Is money that I can live without. And even if it wasn't, no need to live life as a bitch. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Why do you think it is that Google is more than happy to allow advertisements for all sorts of scammy, scummy, potentially underhanded shit? Again, to be clear, 
I'm not saying it's 100% that there's a scammer underhanded shit happening here. It's just that if you're going to make the claim that there's so much potential for independent repair to have an abusive or misleading offline experience, I'm just saying there's probably the same potential when you're importing a wife. One of my favorite comments on this entire thing from Mike Studios. YouTube, you can't swear, show nudity, violate copyright, have suggestive themes, show how to safely operate or maintain any kind of firearm, make any content that is either politically, religiously, racially, or otherwise decisive in any way, shape, or form, or your video reach will be neutered and possibly even struck down. Oh, and if that happens more than three times, we can permaban you from the platform. The reason we give for this, because it might offend advertisers. Meanwhile, the advertisers, mail order brides, human trafficking from war torn and slash or impoverished regions, pornographic and near pornographic content fresh off the presses, scams and lies to drain your bank account in already financially difficult times, drugs both medically dubious, possibly dangerous, and advertised as recreational. All allowed on the platform. <laughs> and you know what the funny part is about all of this? Those ads will stay up. This video will be demonetized for me talking about it. You'll see. You'll see. I will include a pinned comment down below with an imager link to the monetization status for this video, which will be none. Which will be none. Anyway, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.